Hey, yo, what's up, boys and girls? Hi, the whole people. Today we are going to be playing Dark Iron in Survival Chaos. I'm very excited about this because I yet not have a video of me playing Dark Iron on this channel. It's a new faction from uh, 4.12, I believe, and we are currently sitting on 4.13. So small changes have been already out, and I still have not played it. Um, it's too late for tier one unit replacements. I'm not gonna even bother. Ram Siege Engine replaces Fire Golem, Anti-Air. Um, Molten Core Hound replaces Fire Golem, Breath of Fire. Demolisher. Tier 4 Unit Replacement, Taunt and Immolation. I don't wanna go for that, but... Yeah, let's go. I think that's what I played last time, and... I don't remember if I did regret it or not, but here we go. Dark Iron units have a racial buff, 15% spell damage reduction, minus 5% evasion. The buildings have extra HP, but uh, it also has minus 100 tower range. Minus 100 tower range is a very big difference. It means if someone gonna summon me a range hero, we are effed. Effed beyond effed. What's up, Caustic? What's up, what's up? It's not Ragnaros that you think. It's gonna, it would be Ragnaros in the middle. So, yeah. Alrighty. Foundation-wise, we have... Uh, by a guy named Lechon Chegg. He is playing tier 1 unit replacement, which is Alterac Vanguard. I have no idea what they do. Uh, Solitary Andrew is playing with ammunition on orcs. You can see, like, they're wearing all... Some... Hoodies. Um, I actually have no idea what it does here. I think it's a spell damage resistance, likely. Yeah, as you can see, they have 25 extra HP. So... It's likely a spell damage re reduction plus 25 extra HP. Something like that, something like that. Upgrade. Gonna upgrade to side lanes because it's quite suicidal, I feel like, not to, as a Dark Iron Dwarf. I play Dark Iron Dwarves probably so far once or twice max. The most terrifying thing for me, once again, is a tower range decrease. I feel like that's total BS, honestly. I don't know what to do about that. I feel like this is gonna backfire me quite a lot. Um, my range upgrades benefit to both gunners and fire golems. Probably the most important upgrade, so I'm gonna get some range damage already now. They have very good range, so I feel like sometimes they're gonna be tanks as well. I kind of like the element of magic, the pyroblast, simple and useful. Let's check out our upgrades. Damage and armor per hero. So every time Ragnaros is on the map, he will collect uh, damage and armor per hero on the map. Excluding yours. Yeah. You, you can't summon heroes yourself and buff Ragnaros, I guess. Yo, zau zap, yo! Envinen. Uh, thanks so much for following, much, much appreciated. Hello, coach, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, devotion aura around the Salamander Rider, tier 3 unit. Armor and damage to melee attacker on my tier 1 and tier 4 units. Alright, Solitary Angel also matched my barrack. Okay, okay. And I feel like right now it's time to upgrade also a barrack in the middle, likely. Because likely Solitary Angel gonna bounce back. And Wild Wake is also... Actually, Wild Wake is kind of... Yeah, kind of... Losing... To my units. Never mind, he is not. <clears throat> Hmm. 
trying to decide what to do. What, what, what are my actions with this game? Mid upgrades benefit to... Loss of units, actually. Tier 1 melee. What is a crazed steam smith? Is it extra vintage wave? What the heck is a crazy steam smith? Is it typo? Maybe it's a tier 4 unit, I guess. No, Warthog is a tier 4 unit. Ah, I guess it's arranged. Maybe gun? No. <laughs> I have no idea what is a crazy steam smith. Is this such unit even? Crazy Steam Smith. What the heck is a crazy Steam Smith, man? I'm getting confused. Anyway, Solitary Angel is to zero upgrades on us. Uh, I mean, not on us, but on units, and he's tier to barrack on us. Wild Wiki is 1 2. The only one's foundation who I don't know is Wild Wiki on Void Elves. Yeah. It can be a tier 3 unit replacement, maybe. It can be a tier 4 unit replacement. It's clearly not void portals, it's clearly not spell resistance, it's clearly not uh, any kind of unit replacements by the looks of it. Solitary Angel is uh, 3 0 upgrades, nothing else yet. So we should be able to defend this fairly easily. Wild Wake is 1 2. I'm very lucky he's not pushing uh, further. And I feel like I feel like we are chilling. Dark Iron should not be something very strong uh, early game. Rather, it should be something strong later, right? So clearly, we are not being in the middle. Right. We have everyone on ranged. Mostly afraid of the right side, but left also gonna be dangerous. My tower should uh, come in clutch. I'm not even going to micro them. They're hitting the right units. It's by 4 melee. Right, and aim this. Yeah, I, I am not... I don't feel like I need to summon anything extra yet. Uh, one free upgrade for Wild Wiki. Yeah, he is actually right now trying to cause some damage. I can't reach his casters. That's a big problem for me. So you know what? I feel like I'm gonna go and do this. First, I would push the casters closer to me, but most importantly... It allows me to hold this lane without buying too many units. We upgrade the barrack to tier 3. Now we're gonna bounce back. Pretty damn well. On the right side, we're also gonna bounce back pretty well. So I feel like it's time for me to get lots and lots of armor upgrades. <clears throat> three free upgrades on units, one caster upgrade. All right, all right. So yeah, tower upgrades, right? Uh, Devotion order is good. Volcano rounds, excellent. Lava fuel. Um, seems good. Seems good. Solitary Angel summoned a hero on the middle. Damn. Alright. So if I bought four units, right? Living Bomb. Area damage on a kill. Ultimate defense. Chance to reduce damage. Oh, that's a guy. Devoted Fanatics. I guess that's a guy who... Yeah, benefits from Dark Iron weapons. Toxic Gas. And a Mortar. Oh, I remember him now. And now I remember. Yeah, he's pretty OP. Um, <clears throat> Dark Iron Dwarves apparently have extra armor upgrade. 
that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Before armor upgrades, this push gonna be quite quite deadly, I think. <clears throat> and we can see the foundation of uh, Wild Waiki. It happens to be a Void Drake Rider. A Void Drake Rider. I guess it's a tier 3 unit replacement. Looks pretty cool. I have no idea what it does, but sure. Wild Waki is tier 2 main, so he might just use his defensive spell. But he's trying not to. Let's see if he gonna pay for that or not. Um, I feel like he's defending fine, yeah, he bought a lot of units. So we made him pay. Plus, it gave us a lot of gold, so he quite, quite fed us. I like it. I like it, I like it. I feel like I know what I want this game. Yeah. Armor and damage to melee attackers, right? What is that again? Regeneration and damage after death. Mm hmm. Minus unit armor. A caster upgrade. Solitary immediately is rushing pillage, which totally makes sense because he's playing against one of the many dwarven uh, factions. Power Mage can cast a Searing Flame, reduces armor of a union by 5. Hmm. I feel like I know how I want to play this game. Yeah. I have, I have an idea. I have an idea what I, of what I want. I just need to decide on upgrades, and we can try to execute that. Um, Frau is sitting here in the middle very comfortably. Slightly over pushing. He's already in the middle, but, you know, I guess it's fine. Hmm. This upgrade really benefits to a lot of things, doesn't it? And it's the cheapest thing that I can upgrade. Literally the cheapest. Wild Waking, meanwhile, is really, really struggling against uh, my push here, huh? Yeah. You know, having uh, quite a hard time to accumulate even units uh, to start pushing me. Unfortunately, this guy, the devoted fanatic, is only a unit every second wave. You don't have him like every wave, but every second. Archimage, Emperor, Queen. Dark Iron Dwarves. Five free upgrades, okay, for uh, Solitary Angel. I wanna let him hit my buildings way too much. And right now I wanna probably save some cash. I wanna stop on upgrading things and just preserve cash.
The left side is going to be cancer. So I'm thinking, there are two possibilities, right? Possibility number one. We simply upgrade the barrack to tier 4. And that should hypothetically defend fairly... Yeah, okay, 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 yeah. We're not going to go mid. It's a tier 3 barrack plus Frau in the middle. I am not going to kick it out. I'm not going to kick out Frau and... Tier 3 barrack. That is like, no. No, there is no shot. Problem is that I might, besides from... Uh, actually, you know what? I feel like I know what I want. I feel like I want this. I feel like I know what I want exactly. Then that. And then on top of that, come on, man, always 15 gold missing. And then that. I just need the uh, chip upgrades, but I also need devoted fanatics uh, level three. The purpose of devoted fanatics level three is a uh, mortars. The mortars I feel like are unbalanced. <laughs> Every time I see mortars from Dark Iron, I'm like, damn, these things are broken as hell. Plus, these guys can repair mechanical units, they uh, cast a toxic gas, which is uh, like a burning oil, it's pretty OP, so yeah, quite, quite like it. Yeah, I just need melee upgrades, because apparently I have so many units that benefit from melee upgrades. Currently it's also the cheapest thing I can upgrade, so yeah. All right. This is going to be a tier four barrack plus a hero with a tier four foundation push. He will one hundred percent use defensive spell. Second defensive spell, I'm pretty sure. Well, we can choose not to. He's using only first one. Wow. There is no shot. Yeah, maybe he actually is going to defend this. Just like that. Huh? Research complete. Two mercenary upgrades. Four upgrades on building damage. Yeah, he defended it. Uh, Solitary Angel is still sitting in the middle and yeah, very hard to do anything about it. He has a low 16 throw. Low 16 throw. Fairly, fairly annoying. It says that he is uh, on the lead and fairly so. That does make total sense. I feel like everyone is just waiting for him to over push already because... Yeah, look at that. He has been in the middle for... since forever. His frau is just going places too. Is there a possibility he will actually go to me? I feel like I can make it happen by doing that. 
a little bit, yeah, too late. If I summon the rifleman just a little bit earlier, like seven seconds earlier, he could have pulled it, maybe. Defensive survival. Summoning so survival defensively is uh, quite quite a risk. Yeah, Frau is still in the middle. Damn. Alright. So we're gonna have devoted fanatics uh, low free. I'll upgrade my... Ooh, tier 3 caster! By solitary already. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I better have smite just in case. The toxic gas doesn't seem to be dealing colossal, colossal damage. Not gonna lie. Survival now is in the middle. Alright, alright. Hmm. <clears throat> I feel like I, I really need to keep on pushing upgrades. Otherwise, I'm gonna fall to tier 3 upgraded shamans. Total gold. We currently have the least. Because Volvic is being fed by... Push off. Uh, solitary Angel. Um, let's get devotion aura, I guess. Oh, my hero slipped to the middle. Okay, this is actually not the worst scenario either. I think. Do you better by wild uh, Sorry, by solitary angel. Uh, he might push me back. Can I have my tier 3 barrack meat? Nice. Nice, I kill. I st have stolen the hero. Sweet. Cheapest upgrade right now would be Gunpowder. I'm walking around. I feel like it's like literally the most important upgrade here. I know about the magma core. This one is not the worst, the magma core. Yeah, two. I should get it too, I think. Yeah, guess what? So yeah, this is, these are the mortars that I was so excited about. And that's what I rushed. My extra unit each wave, each second wave, summons with mortars, you see? They have 1000 range. If things, if these things are deployed outside of the range of the barrack, they can wreck things, they can really wreck. So we have 5-5 five, five upgrades, uh, quite, quite chilling, you know. Um, guess let's get, yeah, magma core, maybe like I really need magma core. Mm, 
let's go for... 4, 4, 4. Uh, 6 upgrade on damage, I guess. Unfortunately, my Archimage is dying. Alright, I guess being a uh, Corgo being summoned. I assume it's in the middle, not to me, but if it's to me, I'm gonna smite it. And it's to the middle. Alright. Yeah, I feel like Paul you're gonna be pressured quite a bit by that. Uh, I can just probably upgrade the barrack on the right side and be done with it. Really thinking about upgrades right now. And I'm, I'm struggling. I feel like I need to get uh, that regeneration and damage after death upgrade. Be higher level. All right, let's go volcano rounds. Wild Wake's survival is not summoning anything. Uh, any voids? What I really don't like is that. Molten Giant is being summoned on the back and not on the front. It's a melee unit. So by all logic, right, it should have been summoned on the front, but it's not. Magma Core level 2. Um... We are not taking to tier 3. Like, we are really, really de delaying it, but... I feel like getting my tier 4 barracks on sites, getting my upgrades, tower upgrades, it makes sense a lot here, no? Especially against something like Void Elf, Billion Illusions, you know, and like, stuff. Yeah, lo look at the damage. There is a gas. My Molten Giant dies and it just radiates there, right? I think it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I like my tower upgrades right now. I feel like I'm getting the right stuff. Ooh, the Void has been summoned, okay. Maybe I can then beat it up. Beat up the wave of a wild wake because he only has tier three barrack. If the void is killing his own, his units right now, and uh, the hero, yeah, that summoned it, you know, I can probably get in there, right? Tier four barrack by a solitary angel. Yeah, we are, we are pretty much chilling, you know, full mana, building self full HP. Getting the most important upgrades is gonna come down to who has a better late game, I guess. Me or anybody else on this map. And uh, I hope, I really do hope, you know, that we have the better late game. <clears throat> Alright, so always that. And now we're gonna try to kill the Void Monstrosity. Corgo is farming levels. Quite, quite a bit. Total gold, we have top 3. Research-wise, we have... The last place. We actually have the last place on researches. That's pretty bad. But, I mean, I'm getting the most important ones. Sharp armor is good. But there are better upgrades, in my opinion. Uh, Devotion order is good, but armor upgrades currently I feel like are better. 
I maybe can get like one right now, extra, but I can't, I don't know. Do I get extra low to Magma Core? No. Shame. That I've been affected by it, right? Yeah, of course. Right, on that note, we have done all LE damage. There is also level fuel. Uh, there is also living bomb. Mm, and a kind of sharp armor, I guess, is LE damage in a way. Yeah, like, look at this. My melee unit is dying on the front. There is also a gas, and everything is being just damaged, right? I'm also leveling up one hero to very high levels, as you can see. That's the premise. Just to level up one thing to a super high level. Uh, Irve is very, very strong hero, so I don't think she's not gonna hold this. She turns invulnerable all the time, and she also has lifesteal. So, yeah, it's quite, quite cancerous, not gonna lie. Alright, we're gonna go tag to tier 4 and tier 3 main, and gonna get my caster upgrade finally, tier 3 caster. Actually, he's still killing Irvia, yeah, quite a bit. All of his LE damage. You know what, maybe I should have not gone Devoted Fanatics, but should have gone Level Fuel for even more LE damage. You know what, Dark Iron Dwarves, yeah, pretty, pretty nasty. All right, quite a passive game, not much going on. Why are mortars considered mechanicals? You are, you are willing to pillage far too many things, I feel like. There are way too many things that you want to pillage. You wanna pillage my summons that you consider mechanical, huh? Um, yeah, we're gonna need heroes on both left and right. Man, Korgo have been stuck on the middle for since forever. I remember Thrall has been like low 18 and now it's uh it's, it's Corgo. Corgo is farming Gajillion XP there. Uh, total gold. Okay. Uh, research amount. Okay. So orcs have 9 9 melee and 6 9 ranged. Um, while waking on Voidov has 6 7 and. Do you have tier 3 caster? Yes, tier 3 caster as well. Mm, noise. Noise, noise, noise. You know, yeah, actually, I'm kinda enjoying Dark Iron. The Magma Core is. I should have gotten Magma Core. It was a big mistake not to get it. I feel like it's even more important than Volcano Rounds. Look how much I'm slowing down pushes. I feel like it's like giga insane, right? I'm just slowing down pushes super duper well. Speaking of upgrades, I soon will need to get Ragnaros upgrades, tower upgrades. Because I'm gonna start summoning Ragnaros. What about your giants? Can't poison them? Oh. You can poison my uh, 
Molten Giants, huh? They should be stunned and purged. But I have no idea why poison doesn't affect them. I think that shouldn't be a thing. Uh, well, Lucky is pushing very, very slowly. And his whole army is dying constantly, so... Honestly, I will not even summon the hero, I think. Yeah. They start getting uh, more tower upgrades and... Messenry, I guess. My buildings have uh, extra HP, right? The Dwarven passive. Yeah, 10% extra HP. Oh, that's very nice. I'm just gonna summon extra Molten Giant. And that should do it. I have so much AoE damage. That is... Giga insane. A tier 4 Barrack of Void Elves, plus a hero... Just... Gets demolished. Damn. Uh, they got sharp armor and level fuel. Can you let Gorgo out of the mid, please? <laughs> I just need to upgrade the uh, devotion aura, I think, soon. Apparently, it affects Ragnaros, so that's a way for me to get stuff. Masonry. Thrall and Rexar. I actually don't know skill set of uh, Ragnaros. It's uh, Impale, okay. Volcano. Impale Volcano, alright. Nice, we got the power of Sulphurus. I'm gonna upgrade one more time. So he got a bit extra damage. Meteor Shower. So three AoE spells. I wonder what his uh, force spell is. Yeah, what like it does damage, yeah. He, da he is slowing down my push quite a bit. My cancer is all dead. I feel like they got mana flared. At least I can poison Ragnaros. True. I feel like I did an oopsie, but it's fine. You know, actually, I feel like it's fine. I will plan, I will plan, I will plan. Yeah, well, Wiki got the last hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kinda, kinda wanted it for myself. Unlucky. Gold from Fortress. We have the least. Total gold. We are 300 short from being top 2. All right. Hmm. I feel like canceling this if I'm not gonna have it in time. Yeah, let's just play safe. Maybe I could have not canceled, but just in case, just in case.
Oh, it's a super unit by Wild Viking, yeah, okay. I see, I see. Dark Iron is so cool. Yeah. I'm quite enjoying Dark Iron too. I feel like they are pretty OP. Are they not? Just devotion aura and maybe more armor. Yeah, just more armor, I guess. I could also get level fuel level two. Just more more AoE damage. It just, man, I feel like it's, like, there is no way, right? I, w I would have to defend against that. Plus, there, there would be Korgal. Like, cause, like, we both know, like, Solitary Angel right now gonna summon Korgal. So, yeah. Have you done self us upgrade? Uh, yes, once, this is second. I had to cancel second so I could get Ragnaros in the first place. <laughs> second Ragnaros. Doing now armor upgrades. And Korgo has been summoned. We have more armor than him. We have more damage than him, but... Actually damage... Uh... Yeah, we have a little bit less. I mean, he is higher level, so... That is to be expected, I guess. That is to be expected. How do you like Molten Giant Foundation? I mean, it's pretty OP. Because you essentially taunt, immolate, and then when it dies, it deals even more damage. So I feel like it's pretty good. In two minutes, huh? Okay. I don't know. Heat Aura, 10 armor reduction. Survival defensively again. Yeah, quite a risky man, huh? Quite a risky man. 90 seconds. Man, my units have so much armor and then they just poop <clears throat> my extra unit each wave right <clears throat> it applies toxic gas Research complete. Research right my then on auto attacks uh there's been applied the uh, living flame, lava fuel, my bad. Uh, my tier 3 caster also deals damage. Uh, it's pretty good. Hello, what bonus did you pick? Tier 4 unit replacement. Extra unit each wave seems seem pretty good. I feel like they are decent, yeah. They are very, very decent indeed. I like them. I like them, I like them. Uh, 15 seconds. Yeah, I can probably summon it from the right side. I don't want to... Go... Yeah, it's probably the best. Power of self for us. Low free. Final upgrade on armor.
Did I do power sub sell for us? It says low 4, but it's not. Come on, man. You can do it. Oh my god. He's getting bashed so many times. Holy cow. What the heck was that? Man, he got bashed so, so many times. Uh, ultimate defense. Armor and damage to melee attacker. Living bomb. I don't understand, like, is it like incinerate? So any unit last hitting will cause explosion? Or will it only be... If, uh, if my caster last hits? I'm pretty sure it's incinerate, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just incinerate. Damage is kinda meh. I feel like uh, level fuel or... Uh, magma core are like, you know, way more, but... Yeah. 12 armor upgrades. My use a giga tanky. And once my dude dies... You should buff regeneration, right? And deal damage. In 250 MOE. Should I smite? Just need to last hit him now, come on. Nice. Uh, for barrack meat. Uh, I kind of want to go sharp armor. I feel like it's good against orcs, but it's not very good against anybody else. Man, I'm pushing survival back. That's how OP Dark Iron is. <coughs> And Ragnaros has been defeated. Somehow my fever magically relocated to my throat, so I am I'm now coughing a little bit. Alright. Let's go boys. We got some damage to Solitary Angel, now let's go some damage to Waldwecky. They still didn't pick their... Uh... They still didn't pick their ultimate weapon. So that's kinda risky for us. Low 20 Ragnaros. He doesn't have that much HP. For a low 20 hero, right? Yeah. I don't think... This is okay for us. Power of self for us, low 3. Let's see if it's gonna update itself. Yes! 17 armor bonus, 303 damage bonus. Uh... There's a letter of Windrunner, but I need to level up heroes. Come on, Ragnaros. Uh, researches. Everyone is just going to researches. No one is really playing aggressively. I feel like I'm the only one who is like trying to push people. Everyone else is just been chilling. There you go, nice. An allied champion has fallen. Smited my Ragnaros, huh? Can I kill his super unit? That's the question. If I magically can, it will be super OP. Oh, he's going bottom. Nice. 
This guy just smited him, right? Frau on top. All right. We basically maxed out on everything except for sharp armor. We can get two more upgrades. We can get more upgrades in living armor, and we can also upgrade. I mean, we can research it. We haven't yet. And we also can get ultimate defense. Ultimate defense. Let's get one level. E. A letter wind runner. I did not level up Moira. This guy will have to deal with three super units while having only one level one 13th floor siege elevator. Total gold. Ooh, so much has changed. And the guy rage quits. How can you like play the game for 52 minutes and not let your super unit out? I just don't understand. This is a core girl level 28. If you by then have a level 1 13th floor elevator, I feel like he's just cursed. No? I feel like he's just giga cursed. Yeah. Uh, FK upgrades. Do you misspell attack upgrades? I was getting armor mostly because my upgrades are just being applied weirdly, right? Melee upgrades applied to Molten Giants, Zealot, uh, and the Fanatic guy. I don't know if I can find him. Craft Crazed Steam Smith. Yeah. Also Salamander Rider. So I guess my melee upgrades are more important than ranged. Range is only applied to fire golems and gunners. I mostly focus on my LU damage because of that. <clears throat> AI defended against Corgo. Wow. Crazy. Virgin Floor Elevator on the middle. I'm pretty sure my Ragnaros will eat it up. The only one who still didn't pick Foundation is a Solitary Angel. So he's the most dangerous person. An How did AI defend against two super units? Mystery. An absolute mystery. Huh? Do you disconnect? Vault Wiki? It crashed. Too early. Well, my towers have very bad range. So Frau is my nemesis. Yeah. I have to push. I can't receive. This guy has 600 range. My tower has 800. Barrack has... Actually, Barrack has 600. Is it only towers? Yeah, tower range. Not a barrack. Big wave by AI. Small indie company, Blizzard. <laughs> yeah. Ragnaros directing things up. B 
being punished now. I mean, Rogue and Renai. Yeah. Okay, next time I will play Dark Iron better. I learned all my mistakes. If I'm playing this foundation, you have to, absolutely have to, rush Magma Core. Essentially, it's this. You see the flames everywhere? It's gonna be even more flames when this guy dies. So he taunts, right? He taunts. He's extremely tanky, first of all. He has billion armor. And then when he dies, he makes a puddle and damages 15 HP per second everybody. Let's see. Bam, he died. Wait, where is the puddle? Is it bugged? Also, there should be life regeneration for me, right? <laughs> I don't understand how it works, actually. Regeneration on damage after death. Maybe he applies incinerate? No, this is incinerate, right? Yeah. So, Solitary still didn't pick his uh, ultimate weapon. Dude. Alright. Molden Giant dies. Okay, so I, I do see level fuel, right? I don't, I, I don't really see the Magma Core. The Shit. We are on the lead now in terms of uh, gold. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, guess what? Soldier Angel seemingly has defended. Wild Viking's AI. I bet Pro did that something that Wild Viking would do himself right now in this situation. Summon a super unit to me. There is a super unit now being summoned. Level 18. I'll check it out. I don't get it, man. I don't get how this molten giant work. I don't see the regeneration part. I don't see the damage part. Almost went the right side. That will be a fiasco. <clears throat> Please don't go to the middle. I mean, right side. Yeah. Don't go to the middle. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, so does Magma Core even work or not? It's 
It's really hard to track. I can clearly see devoted fanatics work. Level fuel work. Volcano rounds does work. Magma core. I don't get it. Rest in peace orcs. I think this is gonna be very hard to defend, yeah. Quadruple hero like that. There are lots of enemy heroes being summoned too. Alright. Let's see. So this thing. Alright. No, doesn't apply regeneration to my units yet. I think it applied right now. I think I think it did, yeah. It's very small puddle. But I feel like it did. I don't know if you will magma core share some visual. Yeah, but I'm looking at stats, like damage stats. Also, I can Molten Giant, Taunt, a super unit. That's my question. You Taunt, Hero is still persistent. I guess not. <clears throat> um, I feel like... Yeah. Solitary might defend this. Actually might defend this. The moment purple, by the way, loses his uh, fortress, I can send from middle. Oh, he's not. No, 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 no. I feel like he's not. He's not defending this. I mean, with my current stats. Plus 15 armor, plus 500 damage. Come on. Come on, man. Oh my god. This stun is like forever. But auto attacks are very good. Nice. Ouchie, ouchie. War of super units. And Ragnaros has fallen. If only this tower's gonna fall. Then we can rock. Uh, Fusion Floor Elevator is falling, so... Fingers crossed. Mm, I will have Moira on the right side. Gerithos looks uh, <laughs> so uncool. Yeah. I feel like Gerithos on the horse is better than Gerithos without the horse. Don't you agree? Come on. Inspiration Aura. Bonus damage. <laughs> Total gold. Okay. Can a Yai summon void for itself? Probably not. Not this time. Oh, portal is open. Come on. Come on. Nothing. You do have a lot of mana. Surprisingly. But it's physically impossible to shoot that ultimate weapon three times. Unless you have source of magic. Which you don't. Those are also incoming. You have to sack your main. Yeah. Well, they might fight between each other, actually.
<clears throat> there are so many units of mine. Quite like Dark Island Wars. I guess like if you reach this state, you can even compete against Void Elves. Lots of gold on orcs. Yeah, it's very good. Korgo lost to Ragnaros. I feel like Korgo still wins against Ragnaros, even if there are enemy heroes being summoned. It's basically, Korgo has a long stun. During that stun, yeah, he's doing a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. So, yeah. I'm so sad. I'm sorry about Viking. Okay, let's just observe again. So this guy will die. Please die. Nice. It doesn't improve life regeneration! It's a lie! I think it's a fat lie. When this giant dies, there is no life regeneration being applied. What a bullcrap. Oh, it's cool down there. Kick that for you. <laughs> Dude, it's like you waited for it. Kick. I don't understand how the Molten Giant... Okay, once again, let's take a look for the billionth time. Find me one Molten Giant. Because, like, if, if it's bugged, right, and it doesn't do shit, then... Why did I level it up? Yeah, so I have better stats, way better stats, right? But then, watch this. Stomp. Bloodlust. Bam, 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 see? It lasts forever. It's a low 7 stun. Holy shit! Dude, Korgo is just like the most unbalanced hero ever. And then the damage comes again. I deal more damage because no rage and no stun. But anyway. Alright, last check. So regeneration is kind of bleh, it's buggy. It's supposed to regenerate 60 HP per second, but it doesn't. Uh, let's check out damage. So it's 250 AoE damage. There's no visual, first of all. There is no visual. It's supposed to be burning for 30 seconds. Scourged. There is no much flame. Level fuel, right? Burns ground for 2 seconds. Volcano rounds. Also burning, you know, visuals. I don't know, man. If you like, get it next time. Fuck that. I'm gonna get low few. I feel like low few works actually fine. Yeah. Actually, yo, level fuel is excluded from Molten Giant. As soon as you switch to Molten Giant, you don't have level fuel anymore. Whatever. Why so low gold? Check foundation if they even get the upgrade. They do. It's written they do. It's written that they do. I feel like it's a bug. Maybe they don't. Maybe like, you know, yeah. Either the upgrade is bugged or they don't, they don't get it. I don't know, man. Gee, cool game.